Hi, YouTube family. It's me, Sonika. It's my second time making this video. Maybe I should get a camera because my phone keep ringing. <clears throat> so, I thought I'd let y'all know exactly where I am in my cycle. Today, I am uh, cycle day 17, three days past. <clears throat> excuse me. Ovulation. Um, I got a positive OPK CD13. CD13 and 14, I had cervical mucus. Fertile cervical mucus. Egg white. Egg white. Now, I want to say it was either CD12. I think CD12, it looked like snot. It was like a yellowish, greenish, stretchy stuff. And I was like, what the heck is going on? I mean, I knew I was sick. And I had like a, <clears throat> a cold and I had a lot of phlegm in me. And I was taking a whole bunch of mucinix. So I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. I have no idea. But, and then day 13, it started clearing up in 14. So I am happy about that. Um, I only baby danced on day 13. And that's because, well, one... My um, acupuncturist told me not to get pregnant this cycle. I don't know if I told you that. Because I'm on uh, vitamin A. And vitamin A can be, is to can be toxic in the blood. And it's not good for baby when it's implanting and everything. It could pass on to them, I think she said. So, she told me not to get pregnant. But I still baby danced. And left it in God's hands. But I didn't overdo it like I usually do like usually when I get a positive OPK I do a day before positive day of positive day after positive and this time I didn't do it before when I started getting a fertile I didn't do it and I didn't do it after the OPK I just did it the day of so leave it in God's hands whatever happens happens I love it no matter what um so let's see so I'm acupuncture today Usually go on Wednesdays, but Wednesdays out Wednesday I was not feeling well. I was um having a flare up or it was starting to feel like a flare up was coming. It's just like right now I'm just like so breathless. I should put on my oxygen, but I get so tired of that oxygen. Um I have confession. And I'm very mad at myself, and you can be you. You, I'm very mad. Y'all should be mad too, cause I'm I'm mad. Um, I cheated on a diet. Well, it's not a diet. I don't think of it as a diet. I think of it as a lifestyle change. And I told myself I was giving myself one cheat day, one cheat day. And I said we was going to the movies. I wanted to get some stuff. I just wanted to get something for the movies, and then that would have been it. No, I get a little taste of the crack the taste of the crack and what happens I can't stop eating which I, I, I just thought my self control was going to be better but I think because I was so already down wasn't feeling up to it like and because you know she already told me not to try this cycle so I didn't really put my all into it I mean I didn't even do my caster packs this cycle I think I only did it one day I did it the day I got my positive OPK and my stomach was cramping from ovulation on the left side it was cramping so bad and I thought maybe if I, you know, rub some, um, get, do a little cash oil, do the massage and then put the heating pad, you know, maybe it'll calm it down. And it did. Uh, that was the only time I did it. Usually I do it up until I get a positive OPK. I didn't do it. I just, bleh, I didn't even care. So, I cheated. And it just, it, and it didn't just for one day. It was days. I didn't, to be honest, Wednesday was the first day I did not have anything sweet. No junk food Wednesday, yesterday, and today. So, I'm back at it. And when I told her, I was so scared to tell Mackie Punches. I really thought that she was going to be, like, disappointed in me. And she was like, don't worry about it. It happens. But since it has happened, I mean, so she wants me to detoxify. So, she put me on some things that I have to detoxify myself for the week. So, she put me on this right here, Herbal Detox. I have to take five of these a day. And she put me on this right here, detox for 20 drops, three times a day under the tongue. And as you can see, this says children's. And she says, um, just because it says children, don't worry about it. She said, um, because I'm doing 20 drops, it's not going to, you know, it's just a low dosage. That's why it's children's. And she told me she wanted me to start taking DHA on um, fish oils. So she was like, 
take some DHA uh, DHA she says not only good for my organs like my liver and my kidneys and my heart and lungs she said it's also um, good for when you do become pregnant she said makes your baby smart she said so take a ton of it so ladies you want your nice smart little genius little baby then you go ahead and you get yourself some of this DHA and you just she said you could take as much as you want so DHA she gave me the children's ones again um, in liquid form and she told me to put it in my green smoothie which another thing I wasn't doing y'all I didn't have a green smoothie Oh my god, I had one for like four days, and that's just not like me. And I was just, I think that's another reason why I was just so sluggish and craving so much. Because as soon as I drank my green smoothie, I didn't want it anymore, and I started Wednesday. But, um, yep, DHA, I have to do two, two teaspoons in my green smoothie every day. So, show me the detox. And when she looked at my tongue, she could tell that I hadn't been drinking any water. At least I didn't have none for that day. I have been drinking water, I didn't have any one day. But y'all, look at this water. That's how much water I have to drink a day. This is, you have to drink half your body size. Half, half your body weight in ounces. I'm 246 pounds. At least I was. I don't know what I, all that junk food I made. I'm probably hitting 250 again. But, <clears throat> look at this. All this water. And y'all, this, this was filled up last night. And look how much I done drank out of it. Not that much. <sighs> I know I need to do better. But this thing is just bigger than my head. This is my body weight. It's been in my head. Ugh. But I know it's something that I have to do. Uh, what else? Oh, also, um, like I told y'all, I'm three days past ovulation. And I'm still having ovulation pain. I'm, that never happened before. I Usually after I ovulate, it's gone. But this time, I still have it. It's, I'm not cramping now but when I was trying to empty my bladder this morning I felt it just the pressure over there and I was just like something's not something over there I don't know I might have a cyst so ugh. I don't know I've had a cyst before so maybe that's what it is it turned into a cyst I don't know but I guess we'll see what this cycle do I'm so excited because I want to see if my luteal phase is going to be long y'all I promise you that that's all I'm waiting for is to have a healthy luteal phase I have not had a healthy luteal phase in years that's my goal. A healthy luteal. Because I feel like once I get there, a pregnancy is, is bound to come. I just have to get there. So I'm praying that as long as my luteal phase, not on progesterone, was 11, 12 days. And I, 12 days would be so nice. But I think I had a 12 day one, like one cycle. And I don't even think I tried that cycle. I don't know. I don't even remember. I just remember. I don't know. But I do believe that's all, y'all. I just ask that y'all continue to pray for me. Um, I really do believe that me cheating on my diet, me cheating and eating for eating, eating bad for those few days really affected my health. Because now I'm just like breathless all the time. I can't breathe. And so that just tells me that, yes, Sonika, eating healthy was helping you. At first, I, just, I felt like I was doing all this for nothing. I had that, that, oh, I hate when I get like that. And I just pray and pray and pray. And I just had that feeling. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I'm doing all this. All the money I spend, y'all, I spent a good $200 a week trying to conceive. Between acupuncture and herbs, I'm buying herbs, like, every week I'm buying new herbs. Because every time I go there, she got something else she want me to be on and... I just, I spent so much money. And I was like, maybe I should just start doing injectables. Just go to a fertility specialist. Start, do, start doing injectables. Or go straight to my IVF. Or, but then I'm like, spend thousands of dollars and then it don't work. I don't know. I have to get my body to a place where I'm healthy. And I, that's what I keep telling myself. I want to get my weight and my body to a part that's healthy for me to spend tens of thousands of dollars. I mean... But that's the goal. I want to IVF. I think I'll probably buy that package for like three, three frozen and three, three fresh and three frozen or something like that. And hopefully get a lot of eggs. That way, if it doesn't work for me, then I can just transfer my eggs to my sister because she you know she says she she would carry a baby for me. So, and then I'd be like, well, maybe I should just go ahead and and just get my eggs out. But 
Y'all, as bad as I want a baby, I really want to be pregnant. I want my husband to experience that. I want him to feel the baby move and go to doctor's appointments and we do ultrasounds and stuff like that. I really want him to experience that. I mean, he he's a wonderful father, but he hasn't experienced the whole, you know, labor and pushing and, you know, all those wonderful things that comes along with pregnancy. And I really want him to experience that. And so that's why I believe that I'm dragging this out while I'm not ready for to go and let my sister carry the baby for us. I think once there's like no other option, then I'm gonna do it. But right now, yeah, the, the, I just first thank y'all. Who's whoever's watching? Excuse me, whoever is watching, thank y'all. I really need to get that off my chest and say it and say these things because I've been it's been in my brain and I haven't had a chance. I, I just. And I really think I needed to say this because right now I feel like a whole weight is lifted off me just by telling y'all. So thank y'all. And um, just thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for following me on my journey. It's... I really appreciate it. And I appreciate y'all letting me in y'all lives because I watch y'all... I watch the people who I subscribe to. I sit there and I watch y'all stories and listen and comment whenever it's something I something to say. But... I don't feel alone and that's what it is I just don't feel alone now that I've started this I mean I used to go online and you know be in the forums and chat and write I used to have a journal online and this is much more therapeutic and it's good for my hand because I have focal dystonia and typing is just not my friend so but I do believe that that is it y'all um, I'll do another update next week. I told y'all on Wednesdays. I usually was doing my acupuncture on Wednesday, but now because I wasn't feeling well, she did it today. I went in. I wasn't even going to go in today because I wasn't feeling well, but I took a nap and rejuvenated myself. <clears throat> so, um, as y'all can see today, I, um, don't have my black thing on. But... It doesn't shrunk up because, well, that's what my hair does. It shrinks up. But, so I thought y'all let y'all see this. This was under that cap all the time, which as you can see why I cover it up, y'all. This is what's being under there. Well, that, I believe that's it, y'all. I'll go and catch up on some people and see how everybody is going. Uh, oh, one other thing before I go to Sarah Peptase. You know, I heard a lot of people say that Sarah Peptase like help with like scars on their they body, like that just went away and everything. And I was like, how does Sarah Peptase do that? And I'm like, and I've been taking Sarah Peptase for almost two months now. And I was like, and I have, I had my hernia removed uh, 2008. And it left me, you know, one of them keloids that uh, African American people get. And it left me with, with the keloid about this thick. And you can, when you feel it, like when you rub on it, it feels like a tube. Because it's so thick. And today when I was at the acupuncturist, you know, usually when I get up, like I'm always rubbing my stomach. It's just a habit. And I'm always rubbing that thing. And I was rubbing it and I was like... It kind of feel different and when I look down on it and I saw like it's not black like it was and you can see like skin pieces like under it as if it's fading and I was like oh my goodness I never now I see what everyone's talking about with the serapeptic so I'm like if it's taking away this scar just imagine the scars what it's doing in the inside of my body oh that just made me say oh I think I'm gonna down more than what I'm down with. <laughs> It'd be like Tasha if you taking a million, um, a million milligrams of IPUs or whatever that is called. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it was just, it's just another validation that is working and I'm not just taking all these supplements for nothing. But I take my serapeptase faithfully. I take it first thing in the morning, 5.30. When I wake up in the morning at 5.30... That is the first thing I do. I grab my serapeptase and my NATO and I pop them back and goggle down some water. And that'd be like the most water I would have within the, the next few hours. <laughs> but I know I got to do better. Every time I look at that jug, I just be like, ugh. But I know I got to do better. Oh, my goodness. I haven't had my eyebrows waxed in months. I don't think since the summer. 
like July, June. It really needs it. <sighs> but again, I'm going to leave on that note. And again, y'all, I really appreciate y'all. I really appreciate y'all letting me get this off my chest. Even if nobody watches it, I just needed to get this off my chest. And I do. I feel better. I feel so much better. I feel like a weight is lifted off. And I thank you for that so much. So, y'all take care. Be blessed. And remember, more prayer, more power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. And that's not where you want to be. Believe me, no power, it's not where you want to be. So, again, take care. Bye.